Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm doing some live commentary and trying out this Dark World deck again, utilizing uh, brainwashing. Uh, hopefully it works a little bit better. I've definitely made some changes. One of the biggest changes is including this card, uh, the uh, Paleozoic Dynamiscus card. Uh, I actually completely overlooked this card in my initial testing, uh, but it allows you to discard Dark Worlds at the resolution of the card because it does not cost the discard so the Dark Worlds are able to get their effects. Now, uh, this is going to be pretty important here in this matchup since this is a Karma Cut type card and I'm dealing with Burning Abyss. Uh, now, I'm also dealing with Burning Abyss which means I'm going to be triggering effects off of my discard outlets. Uh, so that's, that's uh, not uh, ideal, but anyway. So I'm testing the deck with Dark World Brainwashing in it, and so far, with the last video's results, as well as all the results I've had in the meantime playtesting of the deck, I am uh, pretty underwhelmed. <laughs> to say the least, I am pretty underwhelmed by the card. Now the card itself, in theory, is amazing, and it needs all the restrictions on it that it has, because it's not a once per turn card. As long as you can keep three cards in hand and a consistent supply of Dark Worlds on your board, you can use that Trap Cards effect as many times in a turn as possible. But the problem is, is that the reason that, like, that shouldn't be the reason why people think the Dark Worlds are all of a sudden good again, because it doesn't do what the deck needs. The deck needs a starter card, uh, because as of right now it has very few of those, and ultimately its uh, conditions are way too high. Essentially, like, something like Cerule is a three card combo, whereas Brainwashing is essentially a five card combo. Um, so like, you have Brainwashing, you have the three cards in hand, and then you also have the monster that you need on board. It's essentially a five card combo. Whereas if you're trying to just trigger your uh, secondary discard effect, Cerule is arguably a better card, because Cerule itself is a three card combo. You need the discard outlet for the Cerule, the Cerule itself, and then whatever monster you're trying to trigger the secondary effect of. So. There is that in, uh, in like, the essence, the purest essence of how it operates. I probably should have activated this terraforming first. If I draw gates, I'm going to be so displeased. Okay. Well, see, now what we've got is we've got the same sort of situation that we've had before, where I'm not really able to do much, because I can't get cards in Grave because I'm lacking a starter card. The only real starter cards are things like Trans Archfiend, uh, Drag Down into the Grave, Fabled Raven, and Dark World Dealings. Uh, those are really the only starter cards. And then in a hand like this, Foolish would also be a starter card. Or even like something like Trade-In. So there are a few starter cards, but they all just suck. <laughs> they all just suck. Watch me get cow -cabbed, even though there's one right here. Please. Oh my god. Um, he's going to send Seer float cow -cabbed, probably, maybe? Who knows? Oh, Skarm. Interesting. Alright. I can deal with this. This is actually much easier for me to potentially deal with because now I can, uh, I can, uh, in the draw phase, right, I can then use Dynamiscus and I can banish his Beatrice and I can discard the Graffa and the Graffa will pop the Levier, meaning that only the, uh, Dante will stay. And I'm gonna do that, like, immediately, uh, because while I could potentially die, um, there's, like, much better, like, reasoning to, to just do it like this. <laughs> There's much better reasoning for as to why this is just the better playline and better option. Because it forces the Beatrice, it gets the Beatrice off the board in a way that it will never haunt my dreams ever again. And then it'll also trigger the Dark World, the, uh, the Graffa. And so Graffa can pop the Leviar, and the Levier will, uh, will no longer be a factor. Even with, oh fuck, I forgot that, that, that Levier had Seer under it. And he's protecting it. So I guess that's fine. I'm going to use this opportunity to bring back my Dynamiscus, just so it's a chump blocker. Uh, that's another thing Dynamiscus provides, it's just a fucking chump blocker. It just it gets in the way of damage. But so now this Levier can't be destroyed by effects once, so I guess that's kind of neat. Uh, didn't expect that to be the case, but I'll take it. Because now it means that this Seer can only bring back Dante, and now his BA hand is actually not as live as it would have been prior, so it was actually probably arguably correct to let that Levier die, because then he has two BAs in hand, and he'd be able to do a little bit more stuff. Um, but, at the same time, I can see why he did the play that he did, because of the fact that now he has access to boots, this can bring back his cloak, and he has another rank 3. So I can understand why it was done. 
Uh, I just don't think it was arguably the best. Considering I know like two cards in his hand, one's Cow Cab and one is uh, Libic. Yeah, I think that he probably had a better play line elsewhere, but who am I to judge? I'm playing fucking Dark Worlds. <laughs> my play next turn is to banish my Graffa and draw off gates twice. No, not even twice, once, because the gold or silver will just discard and special summon. <laughs> so, Dark Worlds are trash. I have no idea why people like went crazy and bought out all the Dark World stuff, because unless Dark World gets more support, in the essence of not brainwashing, but a starter card, a card that improves consistency, the deck is still garbage. <laughs> the deck is still absolutely not playable in any way, shape, or form, because we literally have six actual starter cards and that is legitimately like a third of your games that you will not play actually arguably a little bit more uh, but still regardless okay so he gets to be able to bring these back off the wings I feel like he's trying to figure out how to kill me this turn and I think he has an easy way uh, the easiest way would be special his boots and make like acid golem and then this attacks over and then these attack with acid golem and that's game um, like, or, or, this, making some other, like, exceed that equals 3k, because it has to, well, no, it doesn't have to, it has to be bigger than Acid Golem. I am actually tripping balls here, uh, because these, these are 200 short of game if he made, like, Acid Golem or something like that. Uh, so, that's something. Well, actually, no. Uh, make any rank 3 here, literally any rank 3, it doesn't even matter what it is, it could be another Dante for all I care, it could be anything. Norm, uh, normal summon Libic, because I don't think he's normal summon this turn. Libic dies. Special Cow Cap from hand. Cow Cap attacks this. All your Xyz attack me for game. It's actually, like, fairly simple and straightforward. Like, hmm. Alright. Uh, so I'm just going to get absolutely shafted by this one. But luckily, since I'm getting shafted, I'm probably... Oh, the Barbar just makes it extra game now. <laughs> oh. Um, but, like, hopefully, because I'm getting shafted by Burning Abyss... The better Dark World deck, basically. <laughs> like, go on now. This deck even has a graph. Uh, <laughs> you drop the A from Grappa and you get graph. Um, but, uh, like, luckily, because, back to the original thought, because I'm getting shafted, right, uh, then I should very easily be able to end this video quickly and no longer have to deal with this sort of abuse and I can go back to testing differentiating Dark World builds that do not rely on brainwashing because brainwashing is I gotta I gotta give Konami a bone they tried and they made a card and that card is pretty decent if you think about literally nothing else in terms of its applicability that word uh, the card is decent if you think of literally nothing else but they could have made the card better and still made it pretty decent if they had made it a hard once per turn effect and thus, like, then got rid of, like, the hand requirement or something like that. Or make it where you have to require one or two cards in hand and a Dark World on board. Like, that would have been so much better. And it would have been much more playable because it's still a searchable trap off snow. And it can only negate one monster effect a turn, sure. But, and it still has requirements. You can't play it with, like, no hand. So you can't, like, turbo with Into the Voids and shit unless you have uh, other monsters and nonsense. But, uh, I digress. I just, I just need to, I need to figure out exactly. I'm playing the Forces of Darkness uh, because this card is actually like decent at recycling Dark Worlds uh, because you can then just empty your hand, set Brainwashing, set Forces of Darkness, and then as long as you have one card in hand, then you're good. Like it's, it's pretty, it's pretty bad <laughs> in terms of its uh, scope. I'm gonna add Gates here because uh, I can banish this and send Graffa. Uh, but first I'm going to allure, which is probably a mistake. No, actually not a mistake. Who would have thought? Alright, so I can uh, banish a Graffa here. I can recur it off Trance, so I'm not really too worried about it as far as uh, as far as far losing an option goes. Uh, and the, uh, the Dynamiscus is actually probably going to be what I want to go for here a little bit more than anything else, actually. Uh, so Dynamiscus plus Graffa, like, that's the fucking thing. Dynamiscus is so much of a better card for this deck than Brainwashing is. That's the most ridiculous part. It's so much better of a card. I don't under-fucking-stand. I don't get it. 
Um, but what I do get is I get to normal summon this, and I can use this to dump Graffa and then bounce my Silva. Uh, so that's going to be pretty cool. Um, but still, I've just gotten a fuck ton of nowhere. Um, like, that's literally where I've gotten, is nowhere. <laughs> um, so I can set these cards. I get Twin Twister and I lose, but, uh, but what this can do is when it dies, it'll add back Snow. The Silva can go and be recurred off Dynamiscus and be used as a trap. And then if the snow comes back to my hand, then I'll be able to use it alongside with my discard cards and forces of darkness and all that sort of stuff. So it's definitely an option that is there. However, the problem I have is I'm getting absolutely dingle danked uh, because like this deck just lacks starters. So that's the that's the problem I have is that this deck needs a starter card. And the thing is, is that Konami came up with Dark World brainwashing, right? They didn't even need to come up with a card if they wanted to print more Dark World support. They could have printed Dark World Corridor from the GX anime, or they could have given Colorless an actual form, you know, that Dark World Fusion card that literally the only thing we know about it is the name? Uh, like, there were so, so many things that Konami could have done uh, for, uh, for the capability of playing into like the Dark World lore and creating new cards. In Dark World Corridor, it would be a super duper good starter that I don't think would actually tip the deck over the top. Dark World Corridor, if you've never watched the GX anime, is it's a normal spell card and it's add a Dark World card from your deck to your hand, except Dark World Corridor, then discard a card. So basically, literally, it's a rota because you'd use it to add snow and discard snow or add a card and discard a snow from your hand. Like, it's very good, but the thing is, like, Dark Worlds are so inherently crippled by what they are uh, that I don't think it would have been too big of an issue. And then there's Colorless, like I've already said, that fusion of Dark World cards that we literally <laughs> know nothing about other than its name. Colorless, like, the Dark Lord, the Dark World God or some shit like that. There are cards like this that exist in the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime that they could have played into and used and made. <laughs> But they just didn't. <laughs> really? Another Terra Top? Fuck me. If you've played Double Tocket Tom Borgen, do you have another one in your hand? Oh shit. Um, <laughs> like, am I just going to get absolutely destroyed by uh, PK Fire? Um, okay, normal summon this. I can see this. I can see the plays. Uh, but at least next turn, what I have access to is I can Forces of Darkness add back my Graffa and my Silva. Uh, and then I can at least use that as a way to potentially make my. Uh, my brain, uh, my brainwashing live, if I even get to it, but I can get to it, um, and it'll be guaranteed sort of live. Um, well, no, it won't be guaranteed live, because if I have to use Forces of Darkness, that means I'm adding Matt Graffa. Um, so the thing that I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use Gates, draw a card, and if I draw a Dark World card, I'll search Brainwashing. If I draw a Summonable Dark World card, I'll search Brainwashing, but if I don't, then I'm going to have to search another monster to summon. Uh, but then I'll be able to Forces of Darkness back Snow and Silva. Uh, so that'll be pretty good, at least in theory. In a theory, Matt, it might be good. That's terraforming. Hmm, that's pretty all right. That means I can actually rotate twice with gates. So that's pretty all right uh, as far as what we have access to. I'm doing this now because God knows my luck. I would draw gates off of this gates, and then it would just be dead. It would be over. It would be so over. Um, so we'll discard this, okay, so I didn't draw anything in the essence of that, uh, but what I can do is I can, hmm, I can add snow and cycle through gates again, but I can add snow off forces of darkness as well, uh, so I will add back brow, or I'll add brow, rather, just because it's summonable, so I'll summon it, get my Graffa back, and then I can banish, like, Silva, or I can banish snow, um, there's a couple options here for what I have access to. I could also just allure here straight away, which is actually probably correct, because I can always guarantee the Forces of Darkness will give me a, a card. Man, I do not want to get rid of this Graffa. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll discard the Brow. We'll get rid of the Brow. Uh, but I've got Brainwashing now, which is actually very good. Um, because what it allows me to do is I can play my Gates, I can summon a Graffa, I can pop his Levy Air. Uh, it actually really heavily depends on the card I draw, but the the forces of darkness will make brainwashing live regardless. 
Uh, so I think that's fine. I'm gonna banish this Grapha to discard this Grapha. Two of my Graphas are banished just because I'm playing with such weird resource pools. Um, ah, another Forces of Darkness. That's actually really good. Um, but so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop, uh, pop this. And so that's Phantom Knight's Wings, which he gets to use. Uh, I can bring back Dynamiscus. <laughs> Might as fucking well, right? Might as well do it. I did. There we go. Um, and so now Forces of Darkness can be used um, to add back my Snow and my Silva. And I can normal summon one of them to uh, then be able to bounce and add back. Now I'm going to have to keep this Forces of Darkness in my hand, actually, now that I think about it. I'm going to have to keep it in my hand because I'm going to have to uh, have three cards in hand for this brainwashing to be live. Uh, but that's the thing, is that Dark World seems to just want to really play very stun-oriented. Uh, please don't be like the one bottomless in the game. That would be all of my graphics. <laughs> um, but so we'll set the brainwashing. And so what this will allow is that this will allow uh, potential multi-options. As far as, as, please. Oh my god, Twin Twister? Phantom Knight's Wing. Okay. That's, that's a little bit less scary. <laughs> Alright. I was getting so worried. I'm literally trying to only resolve one thing this entire time. Um, okay, so Levier is being activated, which means I can now use Brainwashing. Activate the card's effect now to bounce Graffa. And so it'll negate Levier, and it'll turn it into... Uh, hmm. Oh my god! That is such a savage way to play around the Brainwash! Oh my god, I did not even factor that in as an option. He can fog blade his own monsters. I just got the deal. I just got absolutely fucked. I just got absolutely destroyed, demolished even. There are no cards in my graveyard to activate to banish for gates. There are none. That's assuming I get a next turn, which I'm very positive that I do not. So I went out of my way to establish Dark World Brainwashing. I say out of my way as if I had any sort of better playline, by the way. No, I didn't because it's Dark World and so you have almost no playlines in general other than just establish the status quo. And so now I just get absolutely shafted by the fact that he played around Brainwashing with Fogblade on his own monster. That is so next level RN Jesus. I could have popped that card last turn with Grappa, but I didn't. I popped the wings instead. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't want to sound like I'm mindlessly complaining, because I'm not. Oh, I'm complaining, but it's for a completely different reason, and it's completely not mindless. I just got outplayed, and this deck sucks, and I'm playing it, because, I mean, I guess I just have to hammer a point home that this deck absolutely just is shit. You can build the deck in any way you want, man. The problem still exists. You have, like, six starter cards. That is a problem that will always exist until Konami prints more. <laughs> so, like, goddamn. I got out-fucking-played. Come on, kill me. Kill me now, mon frere. You have game on board. You have game on board. I've got a Forces of Darkness in my hand. I'm... I, oh, come on, hurry. Please, I don't want to sit here any longer than I already have to. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with the fact that this deck sucks donkey dick. Like... <sighs> Both of my... Two of my graphics are banished, which means this is the only one left. Meaning that I literally have to, like... I would have to draw... Dragdown or Dark World Dealings just to get it back in Grave, but even Dragdown wouldn't even be that good of a card uh, because he could just drag down my Silva and I still wouldn't be able to resolve Gates. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Ah! Oh, damn it! I need to. I need to calm down. I need to. I need to chill. I need. I need some. 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 some like. I need, I need some calmness in my life. I need some calmness. This deck sucks ass, and I'm sitting here playing it, trying to prove a point on how ass it is, but it's still making me fucking mad. 
every single chance I get to play this deck. It makes me fucking infuriated. Uh, this deck sucks balls. Dynamiscus is a better card for this deck than the actual themed Dark World support is. Let that sink in. Let it sink in, please. Please let it sink in. Uh, I'm going to add another snow. Because I just need to keep drawing cards. That's how this goes. I've got to... Well, no, I've got to summon Trance. I've got to use snow. But then I can't do anything else because I can't search the field spell and then summon Malefic Stardust. Uh, so I've basically just got to try and draw into an Allure or a Trade in. There we fucking go. Um, that'll do. I can Allure away this Malefic Stardust now like a goddamn Hog Champ and get fucking everywhere in my life. Um, so now we'll add the snow because I'm going to just go through all the snows. I'm having a fucking crisis. And he's just discarding cards that he gets to use next turn. Oh, crisis fucking team. Oh, yeah, we'll get rid of this. I'm going to set this. I'm going to normal summon this. I'm going to use my drag down. So he's gonna either get rid of my brow or my snow. I'm getting rid of that fucking tour guide. You best believe that's that's a free card. <laughs> We're getting rid of it. Um, so the brow draws me another gates, which is great. Cause now that means every terraforming I draw from now until the end of time is also dead. Uh, good to know. The reason the deck plays two gates, two terraforming, is because you try to get the gates as quickly as possible. You want to use your snow search for other things. But if you play two terraforming, two gates, that means you don't auto lose to having two of them in your hand uh, with drag down. So like, yeah. Um, so like, there's there's all of these things that come into play as factors as to why as to why things are going the way they're going. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna absolutely lose my fucking mind. Uh, that seems like it's the best way to handle everything. Uh, banish the snow, ditch the snow. That's Dynamiscus. Hell yeah! I'm so happy I drew that card. That is the best card. Hail Satan. Um, so what we have here is that now what we have access to is that we can add, uh, I think I just need to add brainwashing, um, and use gates in some form of manner, no, I need to add brow, um, no, I needed to add one of the ones that special summons, so I could actually just do this, um, I'm a fucking dumbass, uh, don't you worry, I'm just getting angry, I'm getting mad, I'm getting heated, so that's causing my play to be sloppy, but that's fine, because I can actually just deal with it in some way, form, or function. Uh, so we'll discard this. That's a trade-in. That's really good. That's great. That means I can trade in this. The Forces of Darkness is great as well because that means that I could now, if I had access to brainwashing, establish it and make it live. That's another Dynamiscus, uh, but this is fine because what this allows is this allows me to have two Dynamiscus as well as a, as a play to allow me to Forces of Darkness those cards back. So I'm going to Forces of Darkness in the draw phase probably for Grathless Snow. And what that'll allow me is that'll allow me to have two Dynamiscuses, because unless I get Twin Twister, which I didn't see a Twin Twister involved, his tour guide is gone. Um, so unless I, unless he drew it, <laughs> unless he drew it in one of these two cards, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm going to get him. <laughs> I'm going to try my hardest, and I'm going to get him. I'm going to try <laughs> my damnedest to just get him. I need this. I need this one. I need this one, gentleman. Uh, gentleman, gentle walrus, gentle anything. I need it. I need, 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 need to do this in some way. Uh, I need to at least win one game, man. I can't just get sweeped with this deck a fucking gun. I have to win at least one game. Gotta do it. I played a whole other video with this deck uh, against uh, my buddies here, my buddy man, and I played an entire other set of games, only one, like one of them, and <laughs> and the result was that uh, was that like the only game I could win was the game that I played like a slow and stunny piece of garbage. <laughs> so like it's just terrible. Um, so what I have access to now is I can add Brow, and that would generate a draw, or I can add Silva, 
and then that would mean that I can guarantee myself a play the next turn, because then this Dynamiscus can discard Graph. I can pop two cards with that. This is going to add back Snow if it die anyway, so I don't really care about getting normal summonable guys like Brow, because Brow is normal summonable. But I mean, I mean, Snow is Snow, and Snow is here, and Snow can be added back to hand off Trance, because Trance has to die eventually. I mean, I can't just can't just expect him to forfeit for the rest of the game now, can I? I mean, he could forfeit for the rest of the game, but what fun would that be? I mean, if he forfeit everything for the rest of the game, he could also just do other things in life and not have to try and make things happen in any sort of way. Uh, I could also Dynamiscus this, and I could Dynamiscus that, and I could Dynamiscus everything, mate. Um, in fact, why am I not holding down A? This is a problem. Um, so, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to let him do whatever the fuck he wants, because I'm going to discard this Grappa off of this Dynamiscus, and I'm going to get him with it. I'm going to try and outfloat the floaters. I'm going to try it. And we're going to see how it works. I am losing my goddamn mind. But what else is new? This stuff gets boosts because of my gates. I have just now realized this. After three games, it has given him boosts. Not that it matters, but it still is kind of irking me on a deeply emotional level. Uh, so, Levier, you say. Uh... I am going to Dynomiscus this. I'm going to Dynomiscus the Dante. And then I'm going to discard my Graffa. Because what that will allow is for me to not lose. In fact, I'm going to summon my other Dynomiscus. Because might as well, right? Chump blockers. Chump blockers are how you don't lose. It's free. Might as well take it, right? It doesn't conflict with any one of the game plans that I'm trying to establish. Why am I lagging like a fucking chump? 9 FPS. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Let's not do that. Um, watch me get hit by a random my body as a shield now. Uh, okay. So that goes. And so now his uh, seer is activating. Why is my FPS dropping to 20s? Why? Why is it dropping to 20s? He's summoning his Skarm back to float back. That's neat. He can now special another BA from hand if he has one and make Levier again. But at this point, I've at least whittled him down in resources to at least where we're close in matching in terms of how many resources we have. Because if you remember, I discarded a Skarm, a Tour Guide, and a Cloak from his hand. Uh, so, it's pretty it's pretty clear. Confirm a card. Silent Boots. Okay. Pretty clear how, it, uh, how things have gone to this length. Um, so what I can do is I can activate this, uh, I can activate this, discard this, again, special come back to my hand, or I could just go ahead and utilize the drag down, um, and drag down will allow me to discard stuff. Okay, Max C, sure. Fucking sure. Silent Boots. Silver. Mate. Uh, that's a gold. Hmm. That's pretty alright. So what that allows is that will allow me to allure here because I don't really care about the gold necessarily nearly as much as I do about something like Silva. And now here's that dead terraforming that I touched on earlier. <laughs> oh boy. Um, Alright, so what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll bounce this to special. Special Graffa. And, uh, and from here I'm just going to try and draw cards. Sounds pretty alright, right? right? Uh, I'm going to use this field spell to draw two, or try to draw two, off of the brow. Uh, that's Dark World Brainwashing, that's good. It's very good. Now you're not- Oh, 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 to, like, be a good play. <sighs> I'm gonna just attack this fucking Skarm, and I'm just gonna deal with it in the way that I feel like it's possible. Bug Blade on the Skarm. I'm actually completely okay with that. <laughs> sure! Alright, so I'm gonna do Brainwashing. Alright, so here's where RNG Jesus comes into play, alright? He's used this Fog Blade. And so, he's using this Fog Blade to bring back his, his Silent Boots. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to try and get to the RNG-based gods, right? We're going to try to appeal to them. 
and I'm going to try and use Dark World Brainwashing to bounce my Graffa and discard either Silva or Graffa. <laughs> this is a very ambitious ploy. We got a 50-50 shot. <laughs> We're going to get it. Look at how shitty this card is. This could have been a Cerulee. I could have comboed on my own fucking turn. But no. Nah, man. You realize how amazing Cerulee sounds with fucking Dynamiscus? Holy shit. Dynamiscus, banish a monster. Discard Cerulee. Special Cerulee to your side of the field. Cerulee, discard my gold or my Silva. Pop or spin two cards. That sounds broken. But instead, I'm over here dicking around with Dark World brainwashing. <laughs> Come on, man. Hope that other set's a fog blade. Because otherwise... We're gonna we're gonna make this we're gonna make this count. And guess what? I'm probably gonna discard these terraformings. Knowing my luck, I'm gonna discard a terraforming because I can't activate them because I drew the gates first. So it's gonna be an issue. I've been sitting here cringing and gritting my teeth for 30 minutes. This Dark World deck is trash. The only reason I'm commenting on this live is because apparently you guys are sadists and enjoy my suffering. So, what we'll do is we'll just keep allowing you to hear me slowly unravel into the deepest, darkest sense of insanity as I'm sitting here trying not to strangle myself with my lower intestine. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, OBS, why are you telling me high CPU usage? Literally nothing is happening. Literally nothing is happening except the gameplay and the recording. Oh, my video that I was rendering finished. That explains it. Uh, it's trying to notify me that my video is finished rendering, but I've got it set to block notifications, so it's trying to force it through because Vegas Pro is a goddamn cuck, and it just tries every single way that it can possibly try. Um, okay, so what we've got here is he's using this. Right? He's using it. He's using it. Come on, we're going to do this, and we're going to activate the effect now, try to bounce Graffa, and we're going to try to fuck him up. And I'm going to activate my Dynamiscus. <laughs> Chomp blockers! Woo! Alright, so if I discard Silva here... Nope! Terraforming! <laughs> yeah! Oh fucking right! Terraforming! Speed recovery. Oh no! <laughs> I remember my nightmare days of playing against my buddy Oz, and he played a bunch of this card. Uh, this card's cool. Oh my god. Alright, so what I'm going to have to deal with here is he's going to be able to make Levier do all this shit. I don't think he can kill me this turn, which is a good thing. And I don't know if he can make another Breaksword, or even if he plays another one. He might be able to make another Breaksword. I mean, fuck. If he's able to make another Breaksword and pop my brainwashing, then fucking got me. I mean, I'd be able to use Gates next turn and establish Graffa in a couple of different ways, but still, it's going to suck. My Dynamiscuses are sitting here as chump blockers, so those are pretty good. Yeah, here's another rank 3. Uh, so here's probably another Breaksword. Um, but then the Trance is going to die, which is going to let me add back any of these choice-ass cards, um, which is probably actually going to be something like Malefic Stardust. I mean, Malefic Stardust is actually really strong here um, because I'd be able to summon it and protect the Gates. Yeah, so there goes that. Uh, well, no, actually, Trance Archfiend would definitely just get back Snow, because I can use Snow to search another brainwashing, and then I can just try and do this bullshit again. Um, oh, fuck me. I really just discarded the terraforming. The 50-50 shot, the coin flip was not in my favor. Dark Rebellion, you say? All right. Well, Dark Rebellion is going to take my Trance Archfiend's attack. I'm not going to die this turn, because based Dynamiscus is here to save my ass in times of need. Man, this card is the best. This card is literally... This card could only be better if it was card Dark World Dynamiscus. Because then we could search it. But fuck, Konami gave us Brainwashing instead. <laughs> didn't give us Dark World Corridor, didn't give us Colorless, did not give us two cards that literally exist in the anime. Didn't even have to think to make them. <laughs> instead, Dark World Brainwashing. I mean, I get it. There's probably some lore here with Raikou getting corrupted to the dark side. Especially since we have Twilight Swarms. Um, coming out and punishment dragon, but I don't think that's a justifiable excuse. No, 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 no. Am I gonna lose to this? 
I don't think there's any way this can do 8,000 over one monster. That's 45, and then this... Okay, this is not game. Thank God. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we can negate a monster effect. Um, it gains these effects. Uh, it keeps the attack forever. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. This is gonna just sit here and do a lot of nothing. Uh, Dark Requiem. Okay. That's still not game. Let's see if he negates my tran- No, it is game! Oh my god, he can bring back this! Why do I try to please people? Why do I try to test things? Why do I try to... Why? Why do I try? Full stop. Why do I try? Rainbows, use your imagination. Why the fuck do I try? <laughs> this is so fucking terrible. This entire deck and thought process of trying to play this deck is garbage. Ceruli is just an infinitely better card than brainwashing. I am so fucking displeased. Alright, well anyway, as always guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you got this far in the comments down below with a hashtag brainwashed. I guess we'll go with that because anybody who thinks that Dark Worlds is good with brainwashing certainly must be fucking brainwashed. Oh, oh I'm not, I just sat through 30 minutes of torture for this. Oh my god. Alright, anyway, enough of that. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't the nonsense you usually do. Links are in the description to my Facebook as well as my Patreon page if you want to get in on a monthly giveaway at the end of this month for something. I haven't decided on what yet, but it will either be a high dollar card or some Konami product, um, a large amount of it, like a box of something. I haven't decided what it will be yet, but if you want to enter that monthly giveaway, then you can go and check out my Patreon page and just maybe even consider it in the goodness of your heart to donate, even if it's just to support the channel, or if you want to get onto my Patreon, uh, not Patreon, my Discord server, where all the people I've been playing in the recent videos have been coming from, and I chat with them on a daily basis, we just shoot the shit, talk about nonsense, talk about decks, talk about theory, talk about all that, and then I just say, hey, guys, I need some film, I need some games, let's play, let's play something, and they're like, yeah, man, let's go, and it's like, yeah, let's go, let's play, let's play some Yu-Gi-Oh, but anyway, if you're interested in any of that, go check out the Patreon page. The link is on the video, and link is in the description. All that sort of nonsense. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Again, if you made it this far, hashtag brainwashed, because holy shit, Dark World sucks dick. And I was brainwashed to think I could make a couple videos out of this and maybe expect a different insult. Like, oh, I'm, 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 literally, uh, I'm literally the textbook definition of insanity. I'm repeating the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. But anyway, that's it for this video. I'm losing my mind slowly again. Can't articulate thoughts, can't articulate sentences, can't articulate structures. So anyway... Like, comment, subscribe. I've said that before already. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual. And as always, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Holy shit.